Okay, very good. Well, hello, how are you, Christine? Good, how are you? I am good, thank you. All right, so um, today we are going to continue on with our um, digraph CK. All right, so um, pull out your calendar, please. Okay, and let's uh, put your screen down. So if yesterday was Sunday, what is today? Give me the full sentence. Today is Monday, March 15, 2021. Very good. Okay, very good. Um, now with your finger on today, tell me what was the day before yesterday? Saturday. Okay, and back to today, what will the day after tomorrow be? Wednesday. Okay, now name the days of the week, just the weekdays. Point Monday, to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, and what are the names of the weekend? Saturday and Sunday. Say it again, the days of the weekend. Saturday and Sunday. Great, okay, good job. Um, now, on your progress chart here, um, can you make sure that we have the CK filled in? Yes, it's oh, what do you do? Yes, okay, very good. All right, so I think we're up to speed on everything there in the progress chart. Okay, so if you can just put that up and have that displayed for your reference if you need to refer to that at all, okay? Okay. Today for ABC, we'll do guess a letter, okay? So, go first. Think of okay. a letter in your mind. I'm going to ask questions about that letter, okay? Okay. All right, so, um, do you have a letter? Yes. All right. And I'm going to keep track of how many questions. Okay, so does it come before N? Yes. Okay. So it comes before N. So, yep, we can get rid of Very good. Okay. Hmm. All right. So that's one question. Does it come after F? Yes. Okay, so it does come after F. Hmm, okay. Um, is it a vowel? No. Okay, it's not a vowel. Mm. Does it come before J? Uh, yes. It comes before J. Okay. So is it H? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So I got it in five questions. All right. So, all right, let me think of a letter. Um, okay, I got it. I got a letter. Okay. Does, does your letter comes after M? Um, yes, the letter comes after M. Does your letter comes after T? Yes, comes after T. Does your letter... Um, is your letter... Um, after W. No, it's not after W. Is it, is your letter a vowel? Yes. A U? Yes. Very good. Okay, so we tied. So you asked five questions and I asked five questions. So we're exactly tied on that. So good job. Okay, you can put your um, alphabet strip to the side. Okay, and put your screen up. 
Okay. Just the letter name. No desk writing. G. Uh, combination WH. They get CK. They get TH. They get CH. They get SH. A. They get NG. O. S. L. P. Y. K. U. H. M. C. B. F. W. X. T. R. J. E. Z. I. V. N. D. Okay. Keyword and sound. Lock. K. Whistle. Who. Thumbs. Church. Ship. Sh. Nest. Hmm. Sink. Hmm. Socks. Nose. Z. Leaf. Who. Go. G. Umbrella. A. Uh. K k, edit a, back b, met hmm, rabbit u, dog d, bat a box x, pig p, yarn u, kite k, h a, apple a, king hmm, table t. House, fish, random, zippers, octopus, or jam, j, wagon, woo. Okay, so put your screen down and just um, desk, desk write while giving sound. Go go. Oh, go. Mm hmm. Come who. K. Ch. Ch. Okay. Uh, Christine, be sure to use two fingers. Yes, thank you. Ah. Uh, mm. Oh. Oh, mm. uh, Z A Z Z Z More than one belongs to someone else does. I'm sorry, belongs to someone else does. Yes. Good. Auditory review, screen up, please. I'll give you the sound, I'll have you echo the sound and write it and name it as you write. So the first one is. Combination WH. Uh. I guess CK. Okay. Now, um, 
because we now have uh, three different letters or combinations of letters that make that k sound. Okay, so you're going to write the K rule whenever you hear a k. So K comma C in the final position. Do you want me to write them? For today, yes. Go ahead, write that out. Yes. Okay, comma C. Comma C K. Very good, yes. K before I E. Okay, so that part you don't have to write out. The just I just wanted you to write the first part. Oh. Um, okay, and now the rest of it you can just tell me. Uh, K before I E and E, uh, C before A, U, O, consonant, in the final position, K before, K before close vowel in the two plus row base word. Okay, well, the first part of it is C, C. comes after a closed vowel in the two plus syllable base word. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's review that review that real quick. Okay. It's going to be the new response is K before E, I, and C. Okay. I mean K before E and I. C before A, O, U, or a consonant. And in the final position, K after a consonant, and C after a closed vowel and a two plus syllable base word, okay? Then digraph C, K after a closed vowel in a one syllable base word. So when we're together on Wednesday, we'll write that out better so yeah, you'll be able to see all of it, okay? Okay. All right, next one is ng. Mm. Dig up ng. Eh. Eh. I. Mm. Mm. V. Mm. R. R. F. And what else for F? Oh. Um, in the final position, F, uh, plus rule F, F. Yes. P. E. 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 A. A. O. S. In the final position. S, plus or S, S. Yes, thank you. D. D, D. Shh. Shh, take a passage. S, T. Oh. Listen again. X. 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 Yes. G. G. J. Mm. Mm, N. N. Uh. A. Uh, U. And is there another letter that makes that sound? A. Mm. Mm, M. Mm. O W H B B T Z Z And is there another one? Uh S O O L Uh, 
Mechanic position. Mechanic position. L plus rule LL. Yes, very good. Next one is Z. E. E. Y. Mm hmm. Okay. A. 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 G. 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 What was it? Ch. Ch. So I guess CH. I get teach. Okay. Very good. So let's um, put your screen up. <clears throat> and for reading, we're starting on page um, 41. And we have some learned words that we're going to work on and we're going to use the method of the trace copy and name method. Okay, so I want you to um, put your screen down. Okay, and so first, so you would say, um, you would say the word. Okay. Um, and then you're going to write the letters, I mean, trace over the letters. So that's O H O. H O. No, you would say O H. O H. O. O. Okay. And then again, you're going to trace over it again. O H. O. And one more time. O H O. And then, and then make a copy and name. O H O. Good. And again. O H O. Okay, and then down below that. Okay, so go ahead and read that sentence. Right here? Yes. Oh, Bob will miss the bus. Okay, and now for coding, okay, our new coding procedure for learned words, yes, you would circle. Yep, so go ahead and circle that and then code the rest of that sentence. Very good, okay. Now below that you see the word I. So same thing, you're going to trace and name. I. Okay, um, so when you trace it, you start out and then, or no, I'm sorry, yes, it's a long swing up. Okay, go ahead, trace again. Very good, okay, I see it better now. Go ahead, trace again and name. I. Okay, and again. Hi. Okay, and now make a copy of it and name. Hi. And again. Hi. Okay, and then there's a sentence below. I'd like you to code before reading that sentence. I can't, oh, sorry. I cannot help him. Very good. Okay. Now, 
over to page 42. Okay, and you can um, put your screen up for right now. Okay, um, we are going to do something called, it's a um, story dictation. Okay, um, now we'll do this during the section of verbal expression. Okay, um, but for right now, I'm going to have you read through this story. So go ahead and read it. Um, and I would like you to hold your pencil in your hand. If you come across something that you're not sure of, I would like you to code it. We'll go ahead and read. Put the, um, I'm sorry, can you put your sc screen down? Go ahead. Rick's, Rick's clock. Oh, could it if I come across? Yes. Okay. Rick's clock has lost its talk. When Rick flicks his clock, it ticks. When Rick kicks his clock, it tick ticks. It can tick and tick tick and tick a tick, but Rick's clock lacks its talk. Okay. Now, holding off right there. All right. So far, what have we discovered? What's going on here in this um, paragraph? Um, Rick's clock is broken. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it says Rick's clock has lost its talk. Yeah, so I think it's kind of um, a little play on words there saying, um, you know, that is broken. So good, that's a good, good summary there. So let's go down to the next chapter, I mean the next paragraph and start reading there, please. Rick sticks his sick, uh, sick, clock in a backpack. Oh. Mama. Close my door, please. Oh, is Rick off to hawk his clock? Rick hands it to a clock dock. Duck picks and pats and taps at the sick clock. Did Doc do it? Can Rick's clock talk? Tick, 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 a uh, tick, talk. Okay, so in your own words, describe to me what's going on in that paragraph. Um, Doc fix Rick's clock. Okay. Um, do you see here it says, okay, so it sounds like the, the clock is not working well. He puts it in his backpack. He puts it in his backpack and it says Rick is off to hawk his clock. Are you familiar with that word hawk? Um, like, no, maybe. Okay, let's go ahead, um, circle that word. We're gonna look that word up. So circle that at the end, okay? Then it says, Rick hands it to a clock doc. Okay, so what do you imagine? Again, this is a little play on words here. So what do you imagine a clock doc? When you read those words, what are you picturing in your mind? Um, a man who fixed a clock. Okay, that's good, yes, yeah. All right, and then it says, Doc picks and pats and taps at the sick clock. Did Doc do it? So the question here is, did Doc fix the clock? And so 
at the end there, it's saying tick, 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 talk. So what do you think? What's your prediction here? Is the clock fixed? Yeah. You think so? Okay. All right. Put that aside now and um, handwriting. Okay, so let's go ahead and write um, digraph CK. Digraph CK. Okay, and again, make a copy of name. Digraph CK. And one more. Digraph CK. Okay, how about let's do digraph SH. Digraph SH. And again, make a copy name. Digraph SH. And one more. Digraph SH. Okay. Let's do a capital T. T. Yep. T. Good. And again, make a copy and name. T. And one more. Tea. Good. Okay. <clears throat> for tracking, these are the letters we'll use for today. Show me t. t. Change t to ot. 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 Change ot to talk. 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 Change talk to stock. 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 Good. Change um, stock to stick. 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 Change stick to tick. 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 Change tick to ick. 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 And change ick to k. 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 Very good. Okay. Sound by sound spelling. Okay, so the first sound is B. 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 A. A. Okay, code and read. Back. Good. Next one is t. t. I. I. K. K. Tick. Good. Okay, now with tapping, lock. 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 Okay. And again with tapping. Thin. 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 Okay. Um, is that the word we're looking for? Is it thin? 
The word is thin. Oh, uh, thin. Mm hmm. A mm, thin. A mm. thin. Good. The next word is no tapping. The word is brush. 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 Okay. The next word is no tapping. Flash. 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 Code and read. Flash. Good. Okay, your phrase is a rock path. A rock path. A rock path. Path. A rock path. A. 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 Rock. A. A. Path. P. A. A rock path. Okay. Now the sentence is this. Nick's truck spun on the slick bricks. Nick's clock spun on a... Okay, let's break this up. I'm going to break it up. Nick's truck spun. Oh. Nick's truck. Nick's uh, truck spun. Yes. So okay. go ahead and write that part first. Nick. Yes. Nick. Nick. Church. It's Nick's with an apostrophe S because of the long too. Okay, the next part is on the slick bricks. On a slick bricks. On the slick bricks. On the slick bricks. Yes. On a on the Slick who a k slick bricks bu who a k okay now refer to your folder for the um coding order okay. Bricks. Okay. Bricks. Okay. Next. Yes. Uh. Next. Good. Okay, so read that back, please. Mix truck spun on the slick bricks. Very nice. Period. Okay, period. Yes, okay, good. Okay, so now we'll do our detached syllable word, okay? <clears throat> okay, the first word is publish. 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 Pub. Pub. 
Cup. Okay. The next one is freshman. Freshman. Fresh man. Fresh man. Fresh. 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 Good. Okay. Um, now these are two syllable words. You'll write both syllables. The first word is kinship. 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 Kin. Good. Kinship. Very nice. Okay, the next word is shotgun. Shotgun. Shot gun. Shot gun. Shot. Shot gun. Good. Shotgun. Very nice. Okay. Good. All right, so you can, um, let's go back to Rick's clock. You can put your screen up for that. Okay, and so we're just going to start discussing this story a little bit for dictation, okay? Um, just kind of looking at it and discovering um, some things about it before we would go into dictating, okay? So we notice that there are one, two, there are three paragraphs. And the way we know that is by the indention, okay? So this is indented here, so we know that this is the start of one paragraph. So right here is just one paragraph. Here is another start of a paragraph because it's indented, okay? You probably have done that in school when you've written things, so I bet you're familiar with that, okay? Also, we notice that this is the title. The title is centered, okay? It's right in the middle of the story. Um, we also note that each important word in the title begins with a capital letter. So this has a capital, this has a capital, Rick's clock. Okay, those words all begin with capital. Now, um, looking throughout the story, we know that the story is about Rick's clock and the names, people's names are all capitalized. So we have Rick is capitalized, okay? Um, we know that sentences begin with capitals. So each one of these sentences all have capital letters as you look through the story. Okay, we also know, okay, we already talked about how the first line of the paragraph is indented. And sentences end with periods or question mark, okay, or an exclamation point when it's said with excitement, okay. Now, quotation marks, the very last sentence here, this has quotation marks around it. And we know that somebody is saying the sentence because whenever we see these quotation marks, somebody is speaking, someone is saying that, okay? Um, so next time we get together, you are gonna dictate the story to me. I am going to write it as you are dictating it, okay? So we'll do that, um, let's see, today's Monday. So we'll do that Wednesday when we get together at school, okay? Um, I will, I'll have the story with me so you don't have to worry about bringing it. Um, okay, so that is good. Um,
You don't have, no, I have your language notebook. So next time we get together on Wednesday, we're going to fill in uh, your language notebook um, and look at those couple of things. And so just to review, this is clock. Good. Mm -hmm. With uh, Daigasi. Um, let's do, um, the, let's do antonyms. Okay. We talked about this last week that they mean opposite. Okay. So give me something opposite. So what's the opposite of hot? Cold. Okay. How about big? Small. Heavy. Light. Excuse me, dark. Light. Okay. Oh, how, bright. A bright. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, how about um, uh, long? Uh, short. Okay. How about um, wet? Dry. Dry. Very good. Okay, good. Do you have any questions for me, Christine? No. No? Okay. All right. Let's do a little bit of our book here. Okay. We're up to chapter five now.